It's another beautiful day here in Yuma. I will go discover the gold. Go anywhere to uncover the bold in me. Mountain sides, valleys wide. I will go. I'll get lost just so I can be found in the Bring you along, and we will be boundless, and time won't wait. Early or late, I'll be lost. We'll discover all there is to see, cause we are pioneers, you and me. We'll explore, and we will come alive, cause we are pioneers of this life. Hey guys, it's Rose from Reset Your Journey and for the past three months we've been staying here in beautiful sunny Yuma at the Palms RV Resort for work camping. And while we were here we got a chance to get out and explore the area and that's what we're going to show you in this video. We hiked Telegraph Pass, we visited a historic prison, we walked around Gateway Park and downtown Yuma. If it's your first time here we'd love for you to subscribe and join our family. We hope you're ready to explore, let's get going. We've entered the land of rocks. We're just east of Yuma on Telegraph Pass Trail. Now this trail looks like it branches off into all kinds of different sections, so we're just gonna take whatever turns we want and see where we end up and do the terrain that we're comfortable with, and it looks like some really cool terrain. Awesome. How many lizards? Uh, seven lizards. How, how big were they? Tiny, little tiny dudes. Any rattlesnakes? No. Polar bears? No. Dinosaurs? Yeah. Maybe good. Maybe some tiny dinosaurs. Yeah. <laughs> Fun trail. How do you like this trail? I like it a lot. Yeah? It's, very, it's a little bit rocky, but doable for any age. Five to one hundred. Alright, like that. When I was emptying my shoe, I found this. It looks like it might have pyrite or gold in it. Is that a rock? Yeah. It is shiny. And the color has a little bit of a gold tint to it. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Hope it's gold. <laughs> We were right, there's a lot of trails and branches off from the Telegraph Pass Trail. Guess it doesn't really matter where you go because it all is gorgeous. Take your time, watch your footing, it's very rocky, but it's not terrible. So get out, enjoy this one. We met some new friends here in Yuma, and if you've been following along, we're talking about our road hero and his family, and we had a chance to hang out with them at their home where we met their mule, Gracie. There you Woo! go. That felt so cool. That felt cool? Yeah. There it is. Ah. Ah. Get up there. There we go. That was awesome. I got to learn a new skill, leather tooling, which was super cool. Dame showed us her lab where she makes all kinds of custom fine leather items. She is very talented. Be sure to check her out at hexessentiallableatherworks.com. We visited Yuma's Territorial Prison, which overlooks the Colorado River. It was in operation from 1876 to 1909. All right, Gavin, it's your time in there. Let's go. It is some gall darn hot in there. My name is William H. Lustenow. But people know me here as Three Fingered Jack. They threw me in his hellhole because I stood up for some miners during the Marine Sea Mine Strike. Whoa. <laughs> More than 3,000 desperados were imprisoned here, and the first seven inmates helped build their new cells. 
go on in. <laughs> now, so what do you think? This is your only place to be with uh, six people total in here and one little chamber pot to go to the bathroom in. Yeah, you use that sack? It's empty once a day. And it's pretty hot in here. Oh yes, let's go. The dark cell was solitary confinement for those prisoners that broke prison rules. No windows, just light coming from a small hole in the ceiling. That was a scary room. The library. And this library had about 2,000 books. All right, time to exercise out here. This is the rec yard, right? <laughs> Take a jog. <laughs> Run around. <laughs> Did you know that the, old, the oldest was 88 and the youngest was 14 years old? Let me out. Let me out now. I'm innocent, I swear I'm innocent. This main guard tower was built on top of the water reservoir to prevent evaporation and provide a clear view of much of the prison. That's the Colorado River. What's left of it? And that's California. There's mountains. This state historic park also offers a junior ranger program where Zach was able to earn another badge. So it's really raining right now. <laughs> We just came out of the prison and I can't believe it's raining and windy. This does not feel like Yuma. I know, it was so hot yesterday. All right, it was a great time there, a great little prison. Go check it out. So we were looking for something to do today with the kids to get outside this afternoon. And we heard about Gateway Park, which is right behind me. So we're gonna go check it out on this beautiful, cool day here in Yuma. Gateway Park lies along the Colorado River beneath Highway 8 and the Ocean to Ocean Bridge. This beautiful park is fun for all ages and is great for walking, biking, cooling off on the river, having a picnic, or just relaxing. We were up there yesterday. That's where the prison is. We escaped. Pivot Point Plaza marks the exact site where the first railroad entered Arizona in 1877. A 1907 Baldwin steam locomotive sits on the original track alignment here. The Southern Pacific train in Yuma, Yuma Arizona. Ooh, check it out. I gotta go down this Wow, wow. Look at it. I can't believe how people try this. Yeah, look at all those handles to turn and all those <laughs> so this is probably where they get the coal out of the coal box. Oh, is this the coal box? Yeah, you get it from here. Ooh, that's pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. Downtown Yuma is small but quaint and rich in history, and we enjoyed walking and exploring Main Street. The Yuma Arts Center is a beautiful hidden gem that strives to keep the arts alive in this community. It showcases many local artists including the youth.
as you can see, we had a great time exploring Yuma with our kids. So if you're staying in the area or just passing through, be sure to check out some of these things. Thanks for watching and be well.